does it feel to deliver that diagnosis of brain cancer to a family and their child? Yeah, I think, you know, you read in, in books and historical books about what it was like to treat a child with leukaemia 50 years ago and how devastating that was and how these parents would be told there's nothing we can do, take the child home, there, there's no effective treatment and it seems uh, inhumane and, and unbelievable but in fact even today I still have to, to have those same conversations with parents, uh, particularly those with the worst types of brain tumours and still today we say there's no treatment, there's no hope of cure um, and there's no worse conversation you can have with a parent. A parent will do anything for their child, they'll lay down their life for their child if they'll have to and to be put in the situation where despite all their, their love there's nothing they can do. I think it's, it's just, it's awful. And that's why we need to make a difference. That's why we keep working and slogging away day after day and you know, all the researchers in the lab and all the people doing the clinical trials because we don't want to have those conversations and we need, there's a desperate critical need uh, today to, to make a difference for these kids.